open? What did we get? Not a person. Turkey. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Turkey. Ooh, she's good. We'll see. And here's our book. We'll go through as we So what kind of nuts are these? Yellow chickpeas. Okay. That looks yummy. I bet that's good. Coffee snowball. A coffee flavored snowball. Mm. I'm not sure what these are. Okay. Let's see. Well, nothing's written in English, huh? So we'll have to look at the uh, book to see what we're eating. I'm not sure what this is either, and it didn't say in the book, but it's vanilla flavored. <laughs> vanilla flavored something. Vanilla flavored boy. All right. <laughs> These are cocoa cream hazelnut cookies. Ooh, now that sounds good. That sounds like the um, panda things or something. Hippos. Ooh, the hippo sounds really good. Watermelon gum gummies. We know what those are. Watermelon gummies. And candies. Toffees. toffees. They're both toffees. Mm -hmm. This is toffee. Uh -huh. With a mustic flavor. Musty? I didn't know flavors. Mastic came in flavor? I don't know what that means. And this is. It has a lime in it. Yeah, it looks like citrus. It looks like almost lemon lime or something. I guess we'll find out. All right, so what? The gummies. We... <laughs> the gummies? That's what you want to try first? Yes, the gummies. Okay. I have we have scissors and we have a cup. I know, I'm looking. Okay. Ooh, they smell um, mm. fake. <laughs> like, like uh, you know, like fake flavoring almost. Tastes like watermelon gum. Where's the European stuff? See, so you can tell. This tastes like regular watermelon gum. Does it? Okay. But gummy. Yep. It's like gum. Um, They're what? More subtle. Jelly like. That's how gum is No, with the sugar coating, you know? Okay. Mmm. That's pretty good. I had a fake smell almost like that. Artificially smell, but let's see. What do you want to taste for next? My turn. Well, let's see. We should look at this book. Did this book not say what these potato chip things are? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. It didn't say what the what the vanilla was either. Hmm. Oh, here. So, hmm. I don't know how to say that. Baharot spice cracker chips. Something. Hmm, with Turkey's famous spice blend. So let's see. What would that be? Um, let's see. A blend of spices that's insanely popular all across the Middle East, especially in Turkey. You'll hear the locals describe the spicy hot food by saying Baharati Baharat Baharatli <laughs> which means seasoned with spices. Hmm. Okay. You wanna try this? I guess. It sounds like they're gonna be spicy. You wanna try the spicy chips? Or something else first. Try the spicy chips. 
And here's they smell like the spice cabinet. Here's the ingredients. Has taco spice. Yeah. That's interesting. That I did not it expect. It smells like the spice cabinet when you open it. Ooh. It just smells like a bunch of spices. Those do smell good. Okay, here. I need one. Oh, they look like Ritz on one side. Onion powder, one. parsley, garlic, thyme, and paprika. Mm. Oh, that sounds all nice and normal and yummy. Okay. No more crack raisin chips. More crack raisin chips. Oh, yeah, they are. Almost look like what we have like our baked chips and stuff. Taco seasoning. Mm-hmm. It does have a weird taco seasoning undertone. Although it doesn't have a whole lot of those actual spices listed in here. That's seven out of ten for the taco chips. Yeah, those are pretty good. I like them. Seven out of ten, huh? Alright. What do you want to try next? I'm interested in what the, in what the vanilla flavor is going to be. <laughs> mm. Let's see. That's this one. Uh, oh, vanilla tahini. Okay. okay, so. Let's see the ingredients. Sesame seeds. Mm, yummy. Um, that doesn't have a whole lot else in there. Sesame seeds and some flavoring. So let's see what they say about it. Does it get more iconic than halva? That's tahini halva. Extraordinarily crumbly ground sesame confection. So when I think I was in Europe when I was getting the sesame treats that were really good. So let's see. Is it crunchy? Is it chewy? It Can you wet. cut it? it? Wet. Ew, it feels like sand. It's wet? It feels like sand. Ew, what the yeah. heck? It does not taste good. It is like wet feeling. It's like, like your fingers. Like a, like a it smells like peanuts. All right, I'm gonna taste it. I don't want well, to, but I will. Hey, yeah, sesame seeds aren't bad. Yeah. Oh, it's the whole. It's the same thing. All. I'm not eating that. Why? I'm, I'm gonna taste that. It's like a. It's got a weird. It, it does almost okay, feel wet, chance. and it feels. It feels um, like wet kinetic sand. Spongy. Yeah, almost sandy, spongy, wet kinetic, sand. wet kinetic sand. I'm not sure I would explain quite that way, but I it would. is. That's exactly what it feels like. Okay, it is definitely tastes the sesame seed flavor. Um, it looks like a brick. It's a little sticky on well. your teeth at the end. It looks like a brick of It's soft. Is there vanilla? It doesn't taste vanilla. It does taste sesame seed like though. Um hard to describe. It's not bad. It's almost like um the texture is similar to the inside of a peanut butter cup. And like when you make a homemade peanut butter cup, you put some graham crackers into the peanut butter mix with the powdered sugar. So gritty peanut butter. Yes. It's kind of like that gritty peanut butter taste. Yes. That's what it tastes mm -hmm. like. Did you try it? Try it. It's I not bad. It off my fingers and I didn't like it. No, just taste it. It's not bad. You have it to looks taste. Like a wet brick of glass. It's not though. Just taste like the texture of it and stuff. It's not bad. It's not something I would go out of my way to buy, but it's it's not bad. Taste it. It is not. Don't believe her. It doesn't taste that bad. <laughs> we'll get more.
<laughs> Boy, she's been waiting to say that, I think. It was not bad. Definitely a strange texture, but not bad. Okay, so what do you want to try next? We got the chickpeas, the, the snowball, chickpeas. the hazelnut things. We know we'll like that. Mm -hmm. So turn My turn? Mm -hmm. I'm going to try the chickpeas on. I've never had a chickpea. Okay, let's see what it says here. Salted roasted chickpeas. Guilt-free obsession. And so there's literally nothing in here but chickpeas and salt. So it can't be bad. No, I don't think they won't be bad. We'll cut it with the scissors. Can't walk down a Turkish street without seeing bags of how do they say this? Leb leb oh my gosh, leblabi, leblabi. I don't know. That's called roasted. It's just roasted chickpeas. And I honestly do not remember seeing those when I was in Turkey, but they probably were. Pretty bland. Well, and they're not bad. That's like a. Oh, they are bland. Five out of ten. Very bland. I mean, it's all they have is a tiny bit of salt. Yeah. But that's what it says. <laughs> Where's the flavor? I think those would be good at the seasoning on these chips. So here they have different flavors, it says. Some are hot and spicy, and other types are seasoned with dried cloves, and others are slathered in sugar. So maybe it's similar to like a honey roasted peanut or something, but these are just really plain ones. Uh, okay. What do you want to try next? Snowball. Snowball. That looks good. Now, I'm not a fan of the hostess ones because they have what do you call it coconut on them but this one oh this one does say coconut coconut and coffee so it's the same it says the same thing speckled with turkey's famous coffee beans now that maybe it'll take away the coconut flavor i'm not a fan of coconut smells good Smells good. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Can slide it out. We live in Florida. Everything melts here. Oh, it's pretty. That's so pretty. Okay, cut it. Cut off how much I we'll cut it have. like in half and then it was violent. It was violent. It was already cracked there. So cut how much you want and then cut me a little piece. What do you think it will? I don't know, just cut it. Oh, you could smell the coffee. Really strong. Oh, pretty, pretty. <gasps> okay, so it kind of reminds you of a snowball from Hostess, except theirs have the Marshmallows. So is this marshmallow on top? It feels like something. On the inside, it's very coffee. Oh, it's very coffee. Is it? Very extremely coffee. It's so good. You like it? Mm -hmm. Can't taste coconut. Mm -mm. Oh, that's good. Okay. We don't like coconut here. So let's see. It's very strong. It says it's got coconut, but it says chocolate coconut cake. Hmm. It's very strong, but it's also good. Okay. Okay. 
Mm. Much coffee flavor. Good. Uh oh. Super special. Mm. What? Mm. Eight out of ten. I like it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Pick. Well, the one we think is citrus. So what's that one? Citrus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stick to your teeth hard like that other stuff? Not that bad. I like it. Mm-hmm. It's mm. not very overwhelming. It's not very lemon limey. I like it. If that's what it's supposed to be. Mm, now I can taste it. Mm -hmm. It's more of an aftertaste. Yeah, it was sweet. Real sweet at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Try that one. Did you break it? No. Oh. The heck? A white blob. Right. Cut it in half and see. <laughs> Can't cut it. Careful with your knee. Doesn't it smell like? Oh. It smells like. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we didn't know what this one was. That smells super familiar. Let me look and see. Let me cheat. Okay. Um, Let it me cheat. Smells like, uh, what is it called? Okay, so these are mastic toffees. It smells like cleaner. <laughs> no, no, no. It smells like. Um... It was the thing. Oh. That the piney it oh, says piney. piney glory that's what it smells like and i said cleaner so they use pine salt as a cleaner that's what it smells like it smells it like smells like a tree yeah like a tree i'm a little worried about tasting that it smells like something else too though but yeah the pine flavor i definitely get let's see it smells very much like a tree it is very strange Very, very strange. Okay. Sure they put it in everything from liqueurs to foods to cosmetics. Most of the world doesn't even know it exists. What? This mastic toffee it comes tree? from a tree. <laughs> Did you taste it yet? All right. I'm going to taste it. It seriously, it seriously smells like pine sol or a Christmas tree. Yeah, I'm a little <laughs> hesitant. It smells, it smells like if you took a leaf and smelled it. Okay. It tastes like a Christmas tree? <laughs> Why do you do Christmas trees? I don't want to eat it. Mm -mm. It tastes like a Christmas tree with a little bit of mint. Almost. So Chris, like Christmas, but if you took a bite, it's like a nice. mint undertone of a pine tree. <laughs> taste it. You have to taste it. No. You have to taste it. Seriously. Is it bad? See, though? no, it's it's not bad, but taste it. And tell me what you think it tastes like, honestly. Pause the video. 
hold on, because the camera's. <laughs> <laughs> we can't say that anyway it um okay we have to say it no no no, no, no <laughs> it tastes no. like people who use a lot of um essential oils she basically said it tastes like what they smell like my her grandma <laughs> but anyway doesn't it taste like a pine tree with a little bit of soap and a little bit of mint <laughs> what do you taste Think of what it is, but it tastes like a vegetable. Like, a vegetable? Yeah. I definitely don't taste a vegetable. Okay, okay what do we have left? <laughs> All right, well, she figures that out. We have only one thing left, and we are pretty darn sure we like this because this is a hazelnut filled cookie something. We like those. All right. <laughs> okay, so this first, this other toffee that we ate, it wasn't lemon lime, it was melon lime. Melon? That's why it was a little more sweet. Mm. So those were the watermelon gummies there. The coconut and coffee snowball gratefully did not taste like coconut, but it was really good coffee flavor. Roasted chickpeas were kind of bland. Next time, if we bought those, I would look for a flavored one, definitely, or the sugared one. These chips were pretty good. They were interesting. The tahini didn't taste like vanilla, but it definitely tasted like the sesame. It did not work. It wasn't bad. Um, the coconut cream, that's what we're going to get after now. Are you ready? You're still suffering through that other one? Not that, but I'm trying to figure out what it tastes like. I told you, it tastes like a Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. It's like I just ate no. Yes, it has a very soapy aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a drink pine salt. <laughs> All right, here we go with the yummies. This is a cocoa, cocoa cream. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Ooh, it looks like one of those pandas or something. Filled like the panda. Mm. Cookie's a different texture though. Mm -hmm. No, it's just thicker. Mm. Cookie definitely is a different texture. I know my candles, Mom. Mm. Pretty good. Okay. That? 9 out of 10. There's the cocoa cream mosaic cookies. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Oh. Um. This is also used with um, tahini to make this. Mm. It's got sesame seeds. I told you the crack, the cookie part was different. It's got ground sesame seeds in it. It's got a nuttier, crunchier cookie. And taco chips. to try to get rid of the soapy flavor in our mouths. <laughs> okay. I'm ready to do some 
trivia. I'm perfect. I'm one percent perfect. One percent. Turkey is in two different continents. What are they? Asia. Yes. And when I was in Turkey, I was in the Asian side in Ephesus. Which was so cool. Mm -hmm. Exclusively features books picked from the trash, books with red covers, centuries-old books, no, centuries-old cookbooks, books written by local high schools. Public Library in Ankara. Mm. What was the first one? Books picked from the trash. I'm going to say that. Okay. <laughs> What do you guess? Well, you already read it. When a group of sanitation workers in, in, in Ankara noticed folks discarding usable books, they cleaned them, saved them, and used them to open an entire library in a former brick factory. It was originally meant just for the sanitation department but when locals caught when they wanted it, the library is now open to the public and has over 25,000 books. That's cool. From the trash. That's pretty cool. You don't get trash books. Does that say Zimbabwe? Probably not. Okay. The Zibibai neighborhood in Istanbul is known for a highway with a speed limit of 120, an internet famous cat, a squirrel sanctuary, a mausoleum, ma I don't know if just said mausoleum, a museum of miniatures. Hmm. I wanted to go to Istanbul and I did not get there, so I don't know the answer. So let's say something goofy. How about the squirrels? In a city crawling with cats, the most famous is no doubt Tom Billy, a chubby white bellied street feline known for her friendliness to strangers, her unique way of slouching against steps and her internet fame in 2012. As Istanbul has a long history of affection for cats dating back to 15th century Ottomans, um, it's no surprise that the district installed a sculpture of her reclining against the sidewalk steps. Now that I should have guessed because in Ephesus, crawling with cats. there were cats everywhere, and you know I don't like cats. Turkey is crawling with cats. Turkey is crawling with cats. Yes, so many. All right, one more. But there's eight. <laughs> we'll pick one. Okay. Two more. The locals in the village of Kuskoi communicate by. Hissing like snakes, using walkie-talkies, beating on drums, or whistling like birds. Using walkie-talkies. Go to Turkey's northern Pontic Mountains and you'll hear plenty of tweeting. For three centuries, locals have used whistling Use a whistling version of Turkish called Kuzdili to <laughs> communicate over a long this over long distances. Audible up to half a mile away, 
the whistle is the whistles the whistles are the go-to way to invite neighbors to tea warning them about wolves and even wedding announcements oh my word <laughs> that's weird okay read the one more okay Yes. Okay. Per capita, Turkey is the world's largest consumer of coffee, persimmon, rice, or tea. Well, we know they like coffee, but they're the per largest consumer. Hmm. I'll say coffee. Okay. The UK might be famous for its its tea tendencies. And China might be T's birthplace, but but no one out sips the Turks. Hmm. You're one percent of Turkish. <laughs> the average citizen saves seven pounds in a single year. That means three more than the Brits. What's especially surprising is that tea is only became popular in Turkey in the last century as an ex inexpensive alternative to coffee. And yet today, no Turkish house guest goes without being offered a cup. Hmm. Alrighty then. I like tea. That's our turkey.